Greetings, beautiful souls. Welcome to 5D Life. It is month of May, month of love, and month of Pleiadian alignment. So, we all know how to focus on the self-love and nourish the self-love, which means taking care of ourselves, putting ourselves first before sharing ourselves and our energy with the others. Because as a healers, we always forget this very important lesson that we need to put ourselves first or we will end up with a burnout. So I would say it's the month of the May as a beautiful, beautiful reminder of that. And we also have this wonderful Pleiadian energy who help us to take care of ourselves. Because Pleiadian alignment energy let that it works in a way that we think about, we, we, we summarize what is it we would like to manifest this year. What is it that you want to manifest, not for anybody around you, but for yourself. What it is that you would like to have in your life, what is it that you need in life. So I like very much work of the Florence Shin, who have written many books, but one of my favorite is The Game of Life and How You Play It. How to play and it is on the YouTube fellow youtubers you can definitely google it and find it and Florence Shin shares the wisdom about the perfect happiness or as I like to call it the square of happiness because the happiness have a four important corners and four important parts of it there's a love there's a good health because we do need to have that good health we need to be um, in a very good healthy body um, there is a perfect expression which means that we can communicate because communication expressing ourselves creates reality and we can do it poorly or we can do it greatly and of course there's a success positive abundance prosperity because we do live on earth and it's important to have it embrace it as well so that to me would be a seed of perfect happiness that every single of one can nourish. But there may be a very specific part that you would like to manifest in the month of May. So, late and alignment start from the May 15 and it goes into May 23rd. Now, there are few various dates according to the astrology. I every year embrace this nine day period where I really focus on my meditation and knowing what is that I want to manifest. So we call it planting the seeds, the planting of the seeds of light. Or this year I'm playing with the scenarios, the planting the seed of the seed of life, which goes from the symbol of the flower of life. Because that little tiny seed, as any kind of the seed, will grow in those most mightiest, beautiful, natural creation as trees, right? The plants, flowers, food that we grow. It tiny little seed has this incredible, incredible power. And so it is very good to, you know, use that as a metaphor for our manifestation. Now, since we are talking about Pleiadian alignment, now this alignment consists of the Pleiades, Pleiadian suns, connecting with our central sun and connecting with ourselves. It opens this great portal of the energy that we can utilize as an amplifier to our energy. Now, we all hear from the ancient books and the teachings saying, as above, so below. Oh, the body is the microcosm of the macrocosm. So let's first look at the um, meaning as above, so below. So if we have this beautiful Pleiadian constellation, if we have a Pleiadian alignment that is directly affecting us through our sun energy, and we all are exposed to the sun, we can't avoid the sun, right? Because even if you are in the shadow, you are still exposed to that sun energy. So we benefit from it and the earth benefit from it. So we want to look at it, where is the plating consciousness buried within the earth? Or where is that plating consciousness imbued in the earth, which I think is a better word than buried, where it is? Well, we can find the plating consciousness in the plant kingdom. That means that every tree, every 
every grass, every weed, and every most fantastic, beautiful flower has Pleiadian consciousness. So it is easy for us to connect to Pleiades then just to think about it. You know, it is easy then just to be in the meditation and striving to have that astral experience where you can just walk in the park, you can walk in the forest, you can walk in your backyard and you are right there connected to Pleiadian consciousness. Now, one of the most wonderful plants that I found to connect to the Pleiadian consciousness are roses. So, I believe that the roses actually have been brought here from Pleiades, probably in the time of the ancient Lemuria. If you would Google it, you will find that the scientists have found out that the roses are, are about millions of years of old. Of course, we do have a different breeze at this time and so much on. But it's the most fascinating, beautiful flowers that can connect us to this wonderful consciousness. Now, how we will stimulate this consciousness to recall some kind of the memories that will be connected to Pleiades. So, if we connect, if we have a roses, and we think that the body has a five basic senses, we can start playing with it, especially in the time of the alignment, that we connect deeply through the Palladius with the Palladian beings while enjoying beautiful, beautiful roses. The sense of the smell is connected to the first chakra, feeling safe and secure. So feeling safe and secure may help you in that meditation to connect to Pleiades and in especially Pleiadian alignment to manifest what is it that you would like to manifest. So when you smell the roses, you feel safe and secure. Second chakra is full of the happiness and inner child happiness and it's connected to a sense of taste. Now, you can eat the rose petals. I sometimes do when they are organic and homegrown. I make a rose water. Or you can purchase a rose tea or make yourself a rose tea. And you are actually tasting a beautiful essence of Pleiades that will help you to manifest what is it that you would like to manifest, a blend of seeds for manifestation. Third chakra is connected to the sense of sight, seeing. Now, when we connect to ability to see with our inner eye and outer eye, but first we need to connect with that ability to feel. How does it make you feel to have roses? Now, I want you to look at them. Now, I've been carrying them in the car for a while, so they are in this cutest plastic bottle, right? A little sarcastic here, but it works. But they have been surviving on my journey here, and see as beautiful they are, you can see that little character that they get on the edges, on the sides, the sign of aging and a sign of the heat, sign of the, you know, going through the rough time and yet feeling beautiful and enhancing all of us here with its absolute beauty and with its beautiful essence. And I think that goes to all of us, you know, ability to see with our life, or with our eyes in our life, can create all kind of the feelings. It creates the beautiful, happy, loving feeling. It creates the distress feelings. It feel like it creates all kind of the feelings that we may not always want to feel. And then it says, you know, what is it that we don't want to see? What is it that we don't want to feel? Well, we need to become comfortable with it because if we want to be fully connected to our Pleiadian consciousness, we have to allow ourselves to feel and to see especially what happened in the past because the reason to connect with us is not to repeat the past and guide us in a better future that we will create for ourselves. So I would say this beautiful white roses represents that purity, safety, connection to Pleiades 
but also the knowing that we can withstand everything that yes we get a little wrinkles and we age and this bodies just other bodies for the particular lifetime the same as rose have that beautiful blossom the chair with us for the particular time to enhance our life and it is up to us to make the best out of it or the worst of it i could definitely go out to the store and buy the most gorgeous fresh looking white roses and discard this away before they are fully gone but why why would i do that why would we discard something that is already used and by somebody's standards is not great see that goes all into the ancient teachings do we discard the ancient teaching because it is old no we all go into it like oh yeah it is old and i want it so how it is when the roses age when our age our body age and we go oh no we don't want it i don't want to connect to it i want to look younger and i want to look better i want to do everything like that so there's a wisdom in the ancient days there's a wisdom in all these ancient teachings and our life goes through the cycle thankfully our cycle is much longer than of the roses or we can allow the roses to enhance our life now going up the fourth chakra is the sense of detach so when i touch these roses they have a beautiful beautiful feel and if i can feel them here in my early earthly life i may play with it that i used to touch the roses and play with it how it would feel and the fifth chakra is the voice and creation right so if i'm connect my roses to my manifestation i can create much more easily Sixth chakra opens to the full awareness, to be see the signs and the symbols on our journey and be guided on this journey. And the seventh chakra is trust, trusting yourself on this journey, trusting that the right help comes at the right time, trusting that you have the everything what you need for what you want to create. My beautiful roses in a plastic cup. <laughs> because that's the best for the transformation tra uh, transportation right now and just the best that i have right now that i'm grateful for and that i'm grateful for that i take the moment that life is not perfect of course i know that the plastic is not perfect and it's better to use everything of the glass but sometimes it's just not available and that I think that goes with our life. There are sometimes the things that are just not available and we complain and we get lost in that moment of complaining, of being angry, of being fearful, of feeling that the life will never work out for us. And that is what we can change in the month of the May. Really put that complaint what is not perfect aside and really look like yes i am like a beautiful rose with a beautiful marking on the side that show that she had a life an exciting life because this rose definitely wasn't just beautifully picked and sat on the perfect ways on the perfect table like a beautiful bird in a cage that never have seen the world out there this rose have definitely seen the world and that goes to us so plan what is it that you want to do what is it that you want to see where is this year going to take you then spend the nine days in the you know short meditation like 10 minutes in the morning it's perfect and ask the mother help to help you what is it that you want to manifest you have to be bold you have to ask for what is it that you want you cannot just sit there and wait that something is going to be bestowed upon you you need to voice it out and then follow the signs follow the symbols and whenever you're connected to the rose or some another plant the that you like have it guide you um, to the place to the manifestation where you would like to be use it as the signs and the symbols on your journey and when it comes to the action because all of this you're doing so you will set up this motion of the action and the reaction 
See, nothing happens when you're just sitting on your beautiful behind at home and meditate and, and really want something. You have to get out of your comfortable spot. You have to get out of your comfortable zone and you have to start taking the actions that are divinely guided and divinely designed from your consciousness, from the beautiful bleeding consciousness, from the earthly consciousness that will guide you on this journey. So I wish you a wonderful day. I wish you a wonderful month of the May and I have so much to share with you in the May because I'm on this wonderful exploration of the cosmic consciousness within the earth and I want to share this with all of you. So write me down in the comments. What is it that you want to know? What is that you're curious about? Is there anything else you want to know about this bleed in alignment or anything else? I love you and have a fabulous time. Love and light. Ah, can I make it a heart with <laughs> two fingers, can I? <laughs> Love and light from my heart to yours. <laughs>